Well, part of it, we think, um, you just watch the news, you think things going on in Washington are important. They really aren't very important. Um, um, what's important is what's going on um, in every town and in every county and in every state. And um, Washington doesn't matter much. Uh, they just need to get out of the way and not be a burden on um, Texas and Colorado. Part of the decision to make a book is we're not promoting any current day um, politician um, who's trying to get elected. And we're not, we're not promoting any party. You know, we're promoting policies, Texas type policies that are good for everybody, everywhere, at any level, whether it's the county or the state or the national level. The country would be better off if both candidates would um, take three or four days off and uh, study this book. <laughs> it would be good for them, <laughs> or whichever one of them wins. <laughs> Same thing for um, people running for governor, people running for the um, state senate. Same is true. Because these are, these, these, are, these are things that work, and, and it's important to be not burdened by things that don't work, because the poor old uh, somebody trying to make a small business go, which is where all the jobs come from, um, needs to uh, not have a lot of government to carry on their back. There's no doubt about how Texas is going to vote anymore. There's no doubt how California is going to vote. There's no doubt how Illinois is going to vote. There's no doubt how New York is going to vote. Those three failed states are going to vote one way. Texas and other growth states basically are going to vote another way. Occasionally, um, candidates do talk about something of substance. Um, um, it's sad to have to go through like the re nominating process that the, the out party did because they have to talk about such stuff that whoever gets nominated is burdened by all the social issue stuff. I mean, because. Revealing my own biases, essentially, I'm a social issue Democrat. I'm an economic issue Republican, and uh, and and uh, more more significantly, um, I'm a I'm a Ross Perot, Ron Paul um, libertarian. Let's get along with the least government we have, but we still got to you know we got to feed the hungry and house the homeless and. Um, we got to whop the Osama bin Laden, bin Laden when they need it. <laughs> One thing I know in the book is that over half of Ron Paul's contribution came from people in, people in the military. And Ron Paul was just saying, we don't need um, our troops over there in the Middle East. We're going to send this book to everybody running for office everywhere. And if, and if uh, they don't get their lesson for this election. There's always, they're always coming up every two years, every four years. <laughs> so so uh, um, we, we think um, some things that work in Texas or other people ought to take a look at.